You got to lead up to it. Yeah. No, stunt training's always with the sticks. I never trained with an actual saber. I did. Them. I did at one point. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Clearly, yeah. they had favorites. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Guys, uh, can I just ask, how do you do things like this without giving away plots? Is it really? Is it really it's hard? Impossible. I've already failed uh, a couple of times. Yeah. Literally, the interview before you already failed. So. It's hard. Yeah. We. It's very difficult. Yeah. And you but don't... soon, soon the world will see the show, and, and then you can say everything. Yeah. Then I want to do another round of interviews where we can actually talk about everything. I mean, that is hard. There's things that we don't hard. know. You know more than us. I know everything. Things. It's like they didn't even tell us certain yeah. things because they know. Thank God. Yeah. Can you imagine? Are you kidding me? The interview could be I trusted. I would tell everybody. Be horrible. Well, I you are <laughs> well, would be I mean, currently bad. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Sorry, I'm, not, I'm an funny. open book, no, you know. Not. I just want the people to know. I want everybody to see this. I, I heard a phrase before where someone like, I don't run my mouth, it runs itself. So yeah, is that what you guys are like? Funny. I'm not gonna lie. It's genuine, I can tell you. <laughs> um, is it strange looking at all the fan attention online? Like there's so much passion and I love Star Wars fans. What's it like for you guys looking out at it? Mm. It's great. I've I've had the privilege of doing a few like cons and celebrations and stuff, and it's so overwhelmingly positive. Mm-hmm. And it's like I went to Mexico recently for Comic Con, and it was insane. And everyone was so excited about it, and everyone was so lovely, and it just felt really warm and. I, I'm just so happy. It's a great fan base. I also wouldn't consider us outside of the fan base looking in. I feel like we're all fans. We are. Anyway, so it's like kind of a mutual, mm. you know, we're all on the same line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's fun to hear people sort of like wonder about the show and, you know, and as more and more clips are coming out and some people have seen the first couple episodes, it's such a warm reception so far. I'm just yeah. like, yeah, I can't wait for everyone else to, to see, see it. it. Yeah. Really good. Well, this is the thing, and I always ask people who are in massive franchises like this, uh, is there a day where you're brought into like a school of Star Wars to go, here's where you are, this is where we're going, it's going to lead into such and such, or he is given like handbooks, so at least you know, even if you are fans, but not fans, but that you know where you're going in it. Um, We had, I mean, first and foremost, we had Leslie, and Leslie is the utmost of the ultimate. Yeah, the academy. Yeah, she knows so so very much, and I think from working on this project, I know when we finished Russian Doll, Mm -hmm. which was years ago. Yes, it's fine, I'm not going to but... You weren't born yet. (laughs) No, right. Um, Leslie was literally starting to work on it like the day after we wrapped, I remember, Mm -hmm. and already talking about ideas and her connections. I'm imagining that whole, you know, dramaturg or historian kind of effect has built up from that point. But aside from that, she also hired incredible team members who just, I mean, uh, we had a force leader. We had uh, our stunt team that was doing so much on saber work. Um, We had physical movement. uh, We had training even. And so there's a lot to help us prepare in the best ways. Mm -hmm. A lot. Uh, Talk about lifesavers. Like, how is that? When you first get to when you get to touch one for the first time, are you going, oh, this is surreal. Yeah. this yeah. is surreal? Yeah, it was. We come on set my first day, and they were like, "Do you have your lightsaber?" And I was like, "Do I have my what?" And they were like, "Oh, here it is." I mean, it was so yeah, it was so cool. Heavier than yeah. I expected. Yeah. Too. Did you have yours? You didn't have a belt. I didn't have a belt, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, and then at the end they take them back too. They're like lightsaber, and you have to give it back. It's yeah. It's really so. Fun. It's not like so school. We train with sticks, which is I think an interesting. We train with what everybody at home trains with. Oh, so you didn't <laughs> actually get a real one while you were while you were fighting like to train yeah, with? You do. You do. At a certain point, when you're when you start, you get it, but when you're training, you got to lead up to it. Yeah. No, stunt training's always with the sticks. I never trained with an actual saber. Didn't you I did. I did at one point. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Clearly, they had favorites. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it must no, be on the other thing that they were working on. Ones. Yeah, the plastic ones. Yeah. That doesn't like that. Doesn't yeah, that doesn't like it. it had tape on it. It had tape what, on it. What can you tell us about the colors of them? Can you talk about that? Because fans like... are wondering and asking and all that. I'm so afraid to even talk about everything because it, it, my the, my friends are massive Star Wars fans. Like, so what did you think of it? And I was like, well, and he went, stop. So I, I'm <laughs> afraid because because of, of letting everything. What can you tell us about the colors of the lightsabers? Well, Vernestra comes with a purple lightsaber, and you know, they don't they don't actually mean anything. However, a lot of fans have decided meanings behind them. 
Um, so if that's useful to playing your Jedi, then it's useful. It was useful for Charlie. It's very useful. I love Charlie's it. from Juilliard. Yeah, he, he went to Juilliard, so it's sort of a big deal. I like to find all the information that's available. Yeah. I want to tap it's everything I can. But it oftentimes will. it's like logistical, which is like when they're fighting, you don't want the same lightsaber hitting the other lightsaber. So that's, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. It's about the aesthetics. <laughs> it's all about the aesthetics. Alan. Lads, I love the dynamic the three of you have on set was the director every once in a while going, Jesus, will you stop talking and work or is he just work, <laughs> work, work? Definitely for us. Can you not see Please them? do not You're stop talking. Yeah. I'm very focused. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also 116 years old. It's a little different. She's kind yeah. of talking. Whatever. <laughs> and finally, before before no, I no. go, um, what's it like seeing the social media and billboard ads everywhere? Have you thought about that yet? Because there's a few. There's a few in Ireland. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. I mean, I don't know. A couple of times, Leslie and I've been in the car and something has come up and then we'll be like, like, we'll start talking and then a huge billboard or go by on a bus. And, you know, even in our yeah. rooms at the hotel, it's so sweet. They have little bottles of Negroni and they have the poster on it, a little it's chocolate crazy. bar with like, the, it's incredible. It's insane. Yeah. 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 My friend sent me a picture of a poster in Milan with like the title in Italian. And I was like, oh, cool. Ah. Again, Korea, they had a huge like, event. It's insane. It's the so international crazy. effect of it all is not yeah. 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 Yeah, we're excited. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, this is one of the most easiest interviews I've ever had to do. These are so easy to talk to. Um, thank you so much. And best of luck with the rest of today, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.